In this video, I'd like to talk about the what I consider to be a very, very bad thing that the so-called Holy Spirit did to the so-called Virgin Mary, and namely that regards the so-called alleged Immaculate Conception. So the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit and the Holy Trinity decided to impregnate Mary and subsequently therefore she was called Holy Mary and Virgin Mary and allegedly She was a virgin at the time, and um, the Holy Trinity, that um, fictional three-in-one character, <coughs> decided, without the consent, without the permission without the agreement of Mary to impregnate her. In other words, to have copulation with her. Now, by all standards, in each and every land on the earth, in each and every society and civilization, this would be considered as a serious criminal offense. And I like to repeat, everywhere, in each and every country of this world, and in each and every civilization, almost, speaking about the past, this act, this brazen act, would be considered a very serious criminal offense, punishable by imprisonment. But then, it's considered as something absolutely great by the Christians. Again, they did not ask for the consent to do this, of this woman. They did not ask whether she agrees or not. They did not ask for her permission. They did not ask for permission from her parents. And they impregnated her. Isn't that bra brazen? And how dare the Christians say that this is something good? Which, in fact, it is something very, very bad. And again, if it was somewhere in any civilized country today, this would be considered a criminal offense. The offender would be taken to court, sentenced to doing time in prison. So, this was a short video, and that's some food for thought, so to speak, that I wanted to give you today, so that you can think, it up, think about it, maybe use your critical thinking, because I think most of the religious people do not even, do not, haven't heard of that, let alone try to use it. Maybe they should turn to Aristotle, and Socrates, and Plato, and Webcheck, the notion of critical thinking and skepticism. And also, my advice would be to listen to or read Erich Fromm, which is one of the greatest psychologists of modern times. 
he laid he he was one of the few people who laid the foundations of today's psychology they should listen and read to his works more specifically the one called the fiasco of the religion again erich from he's a german jew immigrated to the united states a foundation layer of the modern psychology and his work is called he has many works but this one is called the fiasco of the religion thank you